Hey guys, this video is to show you uh, how to do a swap on your from cable clutch to uh, hydraulic clutch using the 2008 Victory uh, hydraulic clutch kit. This is a 2006 Victory jackpot, and I'm going to show that it will indeed work with your 2006 switch housings, which uh, Victory uh, says will not work with it, or it's not intended to uh, use with those. I've seen a couple of guys on the Victory forums with the older switch housings, mainly on like kingpins or something, uh, that have done the 2008 uh, hydraulic clutch, and uh, so it works. It does fit around the stock uh, cubes. So um, this video is just going to walk you through uh, how to do it from start to finish. It's a simple process. Um, shouldn't take you too long, but some people just like to uh, they, they learn better through videos rather than reading instructions or trying to search on the forum. So maybe this will be a help to someone. Uh, the first thing uh, the victory instructions pretty much say to do is to uh, remove the seat remove the side covers, and remove the tank uh, for the service manual. Uh, I've heard basically that all you got to do is uh, you can take off the bolts on the back of the tank, loosen one on the front, and just kind of raise it up on the back enough to clear the cables that run along the right side of the bike. Uh, so I will give that a try. Uh, worst case comes to worst, you know, I have to pull the tank, but people say you don't have to do it, so um, that's the approach we'll go with. To uh, remove the side covers, if you never have, it's very simple. You just pop out. I pop from the bottom, and uh, they just pop right off. These are your uh, front tape mounts. You just want to loosen them up just a little. You want to take them all the way out. This is uh, your rear tank mount. And this one you We'll need to uh, remove. Be real careful not to uh, get in a hurry with this. You don't want to chip your paint, obviously. There we go. That should allow us enough room to, uh, you know, kind of work the cable and the uh, the new hose through alongside the right of the bike, underneath the tank. And we're good. Now uh, the next thing it calls for is to remove your left hand side mirror. Uh, the next thing it calls for is to uh, activate your uh, clutch right here and to remove the cable. Uh, but since I've got a chrome cover, I've got to take that off first. Slides off just like that. And since my cable's already broke, um, my cable clutch uh, broke up at the lever, like most other victories that seems to have this issue. Yes, mine was uh, lubed and uh, you know had no burrs or anything, and I just didn't want to deal with uh, having to fight with the whole cable thing. But not to get into that, but basically you just activate this. You might have to use some channel locks or something because uh, it's pretty damn strong trying to uh, move that clutch so uh, the point is, is just to get that out so uh, the next thing it calls is to uh, remove your clutch cable um, from the lever uh, since obviously mine's already snapped um, there's no ball to have to pull out and pull the cable out so mine just uh, pops out you see it's broke uh, the next thing you're going to want to do is remove the uh, switch uh, for the uh, clutch safety switch and that's just a little connector and I have to this and it's just held in by like a little 
clip. There we go. Uh, the next thing you're going to want to do is uh, remove the actual clutch perch uh, off the handlebar. So let's do that. See these little bolts right under here. Next, you're going to want to uh, loosen the uh, jam nut back here off the uh, off the little bracket. Next, you're going to want to uh, remove this little this little out right here. After removing the uh, retainer clip. You just basically slide out your old clutch cable. Done. Throw that piece of crap away. Okay, I've now ran the uh new hydraulic line and um, I ran into a few little snags I'm not sure if it's because I have nest fly bars or, or what but it's a uh, that line the line they supply you with uh, there is pretty much only one way that I know that you can you can route it and I end up having to route it a little bit different than than how the uh, the instructions tell you I'm not sure if it's something that's different on 2008 models or what but um, the routing was a little bit different I'm thinking it's probably because my bars are a little bit maybe longer than uh, stock bars. But ran it through here, and of course you need to go through the little eye that's inside there. Um, and the stock, if you remember the stock wiring, let me set this up. The stock routing ran alongside the bike on the right side. You cannot do that um, with the supply line, or at least I couldn't. Uh, you end up running short a, a considerable amount. So uh, what I end up doing is we grab the instructions. Yeah, you're not going to be able to see that, but I'll I'll supply some pictures of uh, the routing that the instructions give you. But what I ended up doing was uh, changing the routing of the routing that they had on the instructions had it coming all the way back to here and then trying to bend up. Um, it eats up probably about three inches worth of, uh, of line, maybe probably more than that, uh, doing that. And the short, I guess as long as my bars are, I need every inch. So I changed the, uh, the routing up and I'll show you on the other side of the bike. Uh, for this side of the routing, what I ended up doing was, of course, come through my eyelet. Uh, you want to make sure that you're coming on top of your triple trees. Um, basically, the long side the same thing here, because if you try to go underneath, you're not going to get full lock uh, from side to side, moving the bars. So, uh, I ran the, the line basically up underneath the gas tank, off to the left side of it. Uh, make sure that you're not anywhere, you know, where the lines will get pinched when you set the tank back down. And then, the instructions called for it to, to the line to actually go back behind here or back on back behind this bracket right here where your seat slides into this tongue right here. Um, and that just did seem logical to me because for one thing you probably snag it with trying to put your seat on and off. And uh, of course it, it also took up some room. So what I ended up doing was um, I ran it underneath the tank and then there is a uh, I'm guessing this is some kind of uh, thick fuel line right here uh, for an overflow dump. Um, what I am doing is kind of following that line and I broke off, well I say broke off, but I followed that line over the frame and down and there's a little notch, a little pocket that you can run the line through uh, that it won't hit anything, it stays away from your rear exhaust and um, you know it's a safe way, I've, I've made sure nothing's going to hit it and uh, you'll gain. You'll, you'll see when you go through there, you'll see that you'll probably end up running out of room if you've got uh, some aftermarket bars or anything. But uh, 
when it's all said and done, uh, it's, it's enough length to, uh, to get what you need. Next, you're going to want to, uh, to mount your slave cylinder. And you want to be very careful not to bend this rod. If you bend this rod, you're pretty much screwed. Um, so what you end up doing is this end stays up. You want to leave this little cap in here to keep dirt and debris and everything from going down here while you're kind of working on your bike. And slide him through there like that. Take your channel locks. Gonna be kind of tricky. There we go. He is. He is in. And again, just be very careful not to uh, not to bend that piece. The next thing you're going to do is mount your brake line to your slave cylinder. And the way uh, the order is, you're going to have two washers, these little guys right here. And you'd put a washer here, You put a washer on this bolt, and then you also you run your you run this bolt through your line, and then you're also going to put the washer on the bottom side. And then you screw this into your slave cylinder, just like that. Take this washer out just so I don't lose anything. After your after you've got that in there. You're going to come back and you're going to put in your little bleed nipple and um, your bleed nipple's already got some uh, some Loctite that they put on there, some blue, some blue Loctite and you screw that into there and then on top of that is uh, goes a little uh, little cap little um, so you can bleed your, your clutch and it keeps uh, your nipple clean. After you get your uh, Slave cylinder, banjo bolt, and everything mounted up. Uh, next is to install the new uh, lever. And as you can see, it does indeed fit around the stock cube. As you can see, it fits. After you get your handle uh, with your lever mounted on your handlebar, um, next you want to install your uh, brake line fitting to it. So, like before, uh, it's washer, brake line, washer, bolt. The final step is to remove your cover, fill it up with some DOT4 brake fluid, and bleed the system for your service manual. And um, that's pretty much it. Go for a ride.